Hello everyone, this is Dr. DeSilva here, and today we are going to learn about biomes. So what are biomes? Biomes are regions of the earth that have similar climate and other abiotic factors such as elevation, humidity, the soil type. The plants and animals that live in that particular biome adapt themselves to that particular environment. So there are two major categories of biomes. One is a terrestrial and the other is the aquatic. Now the terrestrial biome has subcategories, which are seven in all, which include the tropical rainforest, the savanna, the temperate forest, the desert, grassland, taiga, and the tundra. Whereas the aquatic biome have three categories, which include the freshwater, the estuaries, and the marine ecosystems. So let's talk about them and learn about them in more details, starting with the desert. Now, the desert, the climate is really very dry with little rainfall. It can be cold or hot. It's a sandy soil. It's found all over the world. Precisely, we have the Saharan Desert in North Africa, the Kalahari in South Africa, and the Arabian Desert in the Middle East. These are the major deserts. The animals that are found are the birds, rodents, and the reptiles that can survive extreme temperatures. Most of them hunt at night. The plants will be the cactus, the yucca, and the shrubs that can hold a lot of water. Next one is a savanna. This is a savanna which is dry and hot. It's found in Africa, India, and Australia. So we have Africa, India, and Australia. The animals that are found are the lions, the elephants, zebras, antelopes, and the hyenas. They are open grasslands with very few trees, like the acacias. So savanna was the dry and cold. We have the prairies, which are the dry, I'm sorry, the savannas were dry and hot. We have the prairies or the temperate grasslands that are the dry and cold climate savannas, which are found in North America, Russia, Russia, and South Africa, as well as Southeast Australia. So they are open grasslands with very few trees. We usually have the bison, the elk, the hawks, the coyotes that are uh, usually in the American prairies. So it's which, which are usually in, the America, in America. Uh, we have these animals. Next one is the tundra. The tundra, we have the two major types, that is the Arctic tundra and the Alpine tundra. The Arctic tundra is the major tundra. The large areas of tundra in Northern America, as well as Europe and Northern Asia. It's very cold. The temperatures here are negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit. The, 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 top, the soil below the topsoil, that is the subsoil, is always, always permanently frozen. Okay, that's called the permafrost. So we have the Arctic tundra I already mentioned is the North Pole and the Antarctic tundra is the South Pole. The animals that live here are the lemmings, the caribou, the arctic foxes, polar bears, and the birds are falcons. The plants are the low shrubs, grasses, lichen, and mosses. They have very long winters and short summers. Next is the taiga or the coniferous forest. This is the most abundant biome or the biggest biome. Okay, so the taiga is cold. Uh, climate with rainfall, with snowfall, I'm sorry. It ha it's uh, usually there, uh, the abundance is Alaska, Alaska, Canada, and Scandinavia, okay? And the animals are beavers, lynx, wolves. And the forests are uh, with cold, tolerant, dense evergreen trees like the pine, fir, and the spruce. So that's about the taiga, the coniferous forest. Next is the temperate or the deciduous forests. The temperate forests are the biomes with moderate rainfall and humidity, and it's a little less than rainforest. Rainforest has higher uh, rainfall and more humidity. And it's, it's usually North America, 
Asia and Europe, okay? Asia and Europe. The animals are the coyotes, birds, deer, squirrels, possums, foxes. So we have the plants like the trees, flowers, and shrubs that grow in the spring and summer. They lose their live, leaves and become dormant in winter, okay? So we have the maple, oak, and willow. Next is a tropical rainforest. Here it is warm, humid, rainy, near the equator. So we have Africa, we have Southeast Asia, and South America, the major rainforests. We need trees, the animals, they need trees for shelter and food. So we have monkeys, bats, frogs, jaguars, parrots, beautiful, colorful birds and insects. So we have plants for dense, tall, evergreen trees, okay? And there, there are so many trees and plants. The tree canopy allows for little sunlight to reach the ground. So we have very few trees that grow in here, okay? Orchids, vines, ferns, mosses, and plants are the predominant um, uh, trees found here uh, in the rainforests. Now we come on to the aquatic biomes. So we have one is a freshwater. The first is the freshwater, as we know, we have 70% of the land is covered by water, out of which we have only 2.5% is fresh. The rest of it is saline or the salt water, okay? So organisms that live in the fresh water cannot adapt themselves to the high salt water concentrations. They cannot survive in the high salt water concentrations. So fresh water biomes are less than 2.5%. So the water moves in a single direction for the rivers, okay? Rivers and streams, and but stands in a lake or a pond. We have a large variety of uh, animals like the alligators, amphibian snakes. We have the plants like the algae, mosses, rivers, cattails, and the cypress trees. Next are the estuaries. What are the estuaries? Where the fresh water streams and the rivers meet the ocean are the estuaries okay it's all scattered throughout it brings nutrients from the inland which help to increase the diversity and productivity of the estuary so we have the animals like the beluga whale crabs seas turtles oysters and the plants like the algae grasses sea oats and dixie flowers that are found in the estuaries so the last but not the least are the marine ecosystems which are the saltwater ecosystems so the regions that cover about three-fourths of the earth and the marine algae, they supply 90% of the world's oxygen and take in as much carbon dioxide. Evaporation of seaweed provides rainwater for the land. So here are the waves that come in and go while submerging and exposing the beach. Okay, while submerging and exposing the beach and this creates a great diversity of species around the reefs, okay, around the reefs. The deep ocean is very cold, it has cold water, and it creates its own world of sea creatures or strange creatures. So we have the animals like the sharks, octopus, whales, dolphins. Very few plants can establish themselves here in this intertidal zone of cold and hot. Uh, algae, phytoplankton, seaweed around the coral reefs with no plants in the deep ocean due to the lack of sunlight. So this is all about the biomes about the terrestrial and the aquatic biomes. If you want, you can stop the presentation at any point and take notes. Uh, this will help you all in understanding the subject better and in better details as well. Okay, thank you and have a nice day.